Okay, so I am about to head to the lake, but it is super windy again. Okay, so 53 degrees and 14 mile an hour winds. And that's not just 14 mile an hour winds, but that's actually the constant wind. We're also heading out there with about 40 mile an hour gusts. So this should be fun. Okay guys, well we did successfully make it out here on the lake. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen today. It's fairly windy. I, what, from what I've heard, there's about 20% of the bass are spawning here. About 80 of them still pre-spawn, so mainly still pre-spawn. Now, even though it is a really windy day, the wind is coming out of the northwest, which is actually some good news. And I'll tell you why once we get to the spot we're going, because it's pretty windy still right here. Okay, we're here. But anyways, what I was talking about is that the northwest wind. All right, so typically in spring, you're going to want to find the warmest water. And normally, the warmest water is going to be on the northwest side of pockets and things. That's because the northwest wind is usually the coldest. And the reason a northwest wind is good today is because all at the same time, we'll be up there finding warmer water and we'll be protected from the 14 mile an hour wind. Now, if you look at this holler we're in, there's almost no wind whatsoever. We might try to get up here and see if we can't find some spawning, but if we can't find none, I'm just gonna start looking for some pre-spawn little transition spots. But I'm gonna start fishing and see what we find. Got him. Really? Good, bring him on up here then. Here, just flip him in the boat. There we go. Number one, right away, this little bitty largemouth bass right here where we thought he was yeah and that little bitty swim bait but uh yeah i guess that's fish is a fish right i think we made them mad because like we just now pulled up and caught a fish and they've like been here the whole time now that we did catch that fish, we got to look back and see what it was. Now it's sort of a straight bank. Well, it's actually a straight rocky bank with wood coming off of it. Now this is a pretty good spawning pocket, so they're not all the way back up here or spawning right yet, but they are back here. And even if they are spawning in this pocket, they'd probably just move straight up there. So how deep do you think you caught him? About five feet down or something? Probably about five feet, five, six feet. So. Yeah, they're probably just getting ready to go up there and start spawning any time now. That's probably a little male because, you know, he didn't have no eggs. I could tell you that. Got him? Really? You've got him again? That's a stick, dude. Yeah, reel that in. There's a bass right there. Oh, gosh. I need a wacky worm. Dad, hurry. Give me your bait. Give me your bait. He's just sitting on that limb. Hurry. He's sitting on it. All right, guys, so there's a tree coming out right here, and there's a bass sitting right on that limb. I'm going to try to throw past him, like, if I don't get hung up right here. Of course I did, though. Swarping on that pine tree. Not a sycamore today. Swarping on that pine tree. But anyways, we're going to have to go in there to get this bait anyhow. What was happening is, all right, so I was fishing on the other side, look glanced over and right here on this main beam of this tree i saw this big old bass just sitting right on top of it right on it in the sun getting more there she is right there you don't necessarily have to get bites to figure out what they're on you can look around see i physically saw a bass on wood so that that tells me something that tells me that they may just be on wood if more bass are just like that guy Okay, 
So we fished around a little bit. All right, so we fished around a little bit. We've seen zero spawning fish. I don't know if they're spawning or if I'm just in the wrong spot, but we've also fished a little bit around everything with just that one fish. And we did see that one fish, but uh, I'm gonna move over to the other side of the lake, see if, you know, maybe something's different. But uh, there's a fish just blew up behind me, but I don't think it's a bass. But yeah, we're gonna make a move. Just uh, maybe regroup on the way down there, start all over. We're at pre-spawn. I'm gonna look on my fish finder, try to find some, what I would think would be spawning places, and then just go a few steps back. But yeah, we're gonna make a move right now and try to get somewhere besides here. Okay guys, well my, my GoPro actually died and I've hooked a, a massive fish. It may be a catfish after I think about it, but it is a taking drag. If it's a bass, it's a giant. I don't I honestly don't think it's a bass though, because it's not even came up to jump. We're about to see what it is right here. Oh gosh, this is a giant. Oh my gosh. This is not what I was expecting here today. Oh man, just by one hook too. I didn't get it off. And I forgot the net to beat it off. Let me see if I'm able can... Oh man, this is, this is bad. This is bad. Nope, don't spit it, you dumb. Got him. Oh man. <laughs> this is a good one right here. Of course the GoPro wouldn't be on though. Oh man. This is a big one. And I was using that little red, little flat-sided crankbait. But look at this thing. This is giant, ain't it? You're not going to sure say anything? Is. It sure is a giant. Big pre-spawn female right there because she's full of eggs. You can you, you can wanna, definitely tell that. You want to weigh her? I forgot the scale at home. I don't know. I'm going to make a rough estimate and say five pounds, but I mean... Oh my gosh, that's the biggest bass I've caught in a really, really, really long time. Feels really good too. Here we go. We're gonna let this guy, this girl go. Here we go. Now that's a, that's a giant, especially for Kendall Gray. There we go. Just like that. Now, I'll show you where we was. That little pocket over there, it's a fact they spawn in here. It's a fact they spawn right here. And there's this little point right there that's separating them both. Now that one, I was just reeling that crankbait right across it, and then she took it. So what it was, is there's a spawning flat right there, a spawning pocket right here, and she was right there in the point, right in the middle of both of them. Now, sadly, we got about an hour left of sunlight, and I'm a little late on figuring out the pattern. But still, we're going we're gonna to start fishing little points like that for the last hour we got left. Okay, guys, well, like I said earlier... The GoPro is dead, but dang, how have I done this? Luck is real, guys. Luck is real. I just hooked another one. Oh my gosh. This is just as big, if not bigger. Oh my goodness. That's a giant. There's something wrong, guys. I usually can't do this. And I've somewhat foul hooked him, but... No, I didn't. I still got him right there in the... This guy's hooked a little bit better, but... See? I've got both of them right there in the back hook. Maybe this isn't the best color, but then again, if you'll look what's happening, that's the point I caught that onion off of. That's the same spawning flat. Here's the second point, and then right over there is another little spawning bay thing. So, and right here where I caught him is right here on this point. Another, what looks like I'd say a female, but I mean, yeah. There we go. We'll just let this girl go right here. I'm gonna try to get another one because they've been biting right here just like that that let's go for number four for today i've had this crankbait for 
about a year and it's it don't even have a clear coat on it. So many bass has ate it. Here come some ducks. Hi. Huh. They think I got some bread, but I just got news for them. I don't have bread. Here they come. Well. Cool. Okay, guys, well, round three actually got another one. That time right back there in the cove a little bit, but guys, I have straight up figured out a pattern. This is, if anybody knows Kendall Gray, figuring out a pattern is not something he does very often. This fish here is very, very lively, but dang, he's another giant. Let me get down and get him. That's Phil. Oh my goodness. There he is, guys. Mm. There he is. Dang. That's another good three pounder just like that last one. That first one was about five. Then I got another three and then another three. We're about to crash to the bank, but I believe it's almost safe to say I figured them out today. Another female from that big fat belly, but I don't know, guys. I'm catching them today. Here we go. There she goes. I'm just gonna keep fishing. You know what? I'm gonna use that GoPro a little bit. The battery is about dead, but I do have another battery, and I don't know why I've waited till now to get it out. Okay, guys, well, that was a super awesome day out here on the water. The sun, it is going down. For that one picture, that big one, about the five pounder, I'm actually gonna be posting that on Instagram. So you can follow me on, on Instagram right here. You can tag me in any photo. Make sure you tag me in it, and I will go through and like them. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting that one. Make sure to get on there and like that one for me. I really gotta thank God for days like these cause there ain't no way in the world I could catch that many fish by myself. But you know, he just decided, hey, I'm gonna let Kendall Gray go out there, catch a bunch of fish. But anyways, if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe cause there's gonna be a lot of fishing on this channel this year. And I mean high school tournaments, cat fishing. I'm gonna do a little bit of everything. I'm just gonna be bringing it to y'all. So if you want to click right here for some other fishing videos, do that, and I will see y'all hopefully on the water again, but I will see you later.